The boreal forest in Canada is one of the largest forests left on Earth. But the boreal is under attack. Companies are clear-cutting this vital forest, and as a result, the communities and species that rely on the boreal are suffering. After investigating brands complicit in this destruction, we were shocked to learn that precious boreal forest is being made into toilet paper. So over the past year, Stand has been taking Charmin and its parent company Procter & Gamble to task. We need companies like Procter & Gamble, you know, really companies that talk the talk and have progressive values around environmental and sustainability issues. There shouldn't be a need for a campaign. It should just be automatic. Yes, of course, you're absolutely right. Leadership doesn't mean doing the easy turn. It means doing the hard thing. You know, they keep saying, well, we can't do that. That's too hard. Well, yeah, it's going to be hard. <laughs> Never been done before, Syrac, as far as I know. A rolling toilet protest. When we heard about Procter & Gamble's AGM, we knew we had to take our work directly to shareholders and let them know what Charmin is doing is unacceptable. Two, two simple asks. Number one. Would you please add some alternative fiber or recycled content to your toilet paper? We shouldn't be using 100% fresh cut trees for toilet paper. So that was number one. And number two, stop sourcing from sensitive, critical, endangered forests, home of caribou, up in Canada. The boreal forest is referred to as the Amazon of the north, and we're cutting down for toilet paper. And there's also a team going inside during the annual general meeting to ask questions uh, and make a statement inside. Most of us will be outside making a bunch of noise and being very visible. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, Today, in front of your global headquarters, on the day of your annual general meeting, we ask you, Procter & Gamble, to stop flushing our forests. until we know Charmin isn't wiping with our forests and our future. I'm out here today because our planet matters um, and if we don't start protecting our environment we're gonna feel the effects and we already are. Charmin, stop wiping out our forests and our future! Charmin, stop flushing our forests and our future! We have been in conversation with P&G for more than a year and a half with representatives of their family care team and we've been unable to convince them to stop flushing our forests. We can't go with Charmin until we know Charmin is made responsibly with recycled or non-wood fiber. We can't go with Charmin until we know Parker and Gamble works to protect sensitive boreal forest. And we certainly can't go with Charmin until we know Procter and Gamble respects the free, prior, and informed consent of Canadian, First Nations, and Indigenous people around the world. So I'm from a community where caribou have traditionally roamed for thousands of years. Uh, until this year when the two local herds went extinct and um, they went extinct because of really irresponsible industrial practices that you know are often supplying companies like Procter & Gamble to make <laughs> things as disposable as toilet paper. These companies that do these things, they go in these, these lands, these, these unceded tribal lands, they go to this, to, to, they have this idea that you can take Mother Earth and turn it around for profit. My whole life, I've made a commitment that we're to protect Mother Earth. And we live in a time now where we have to be especially conscious of what these companies do. We have to, we have to acknowledge and understand how these things work. We cannot remain silent anymore. We cannot be quiet anymore. We cannot sit here and, and be content. Again, I come here and I offer you guys this song, the song that came from my people in our land struggles. Hear this song and, and, and know that this, comes, this song comes in defense of Mother Earth. Oh, 
with our signs for approximately about an hour in the middle of the meeting. 
it was an unusual experience, um, not to be removed, not asked to leave. They just left us there to stand. There was a lot of hate speech. There was a lot of uh, very derogatory statements made by a lot of shareholders. Uh, not surprising. Uh, it affects their, their, their bottom dollar, and that's what they're there for. It was interesting. When I was in the Procter & Gamble meeting delivering my message, people had a really hard time looking in the face. They did talk a lot about uh, sustainability as far as environment. They did abstain from talking of climate and the impact of what they're doing to the climate and uh, instead chose to speak of what they are doing to somehow bring equilibrium to the destruction, you know? So they're planting a tiny baby tree in California for a virgin forest and one is not going to replace the other. They have this plan for sustainability that I think they really want to be proud of and I, I know they can do better. They know they can do better and have a plan that actually protects caribou, that actually respects the rights of indigenous people to free prior and informed consent and that has you know, built into it the concept of a climate safe future. We believe that we have the power of people behind us uh, and they will make a change for the better. I think it's our job now to let them know that we're not going anywhere and you know we're willing to do what it takes to get their movement on this and their leadership on this issue. To demand a voice, demand a seat at the table is what it's going to take. Somebody's hurt in our forest and it's gone on far too long. It's gone on far too long. It's gone on far too long. Somebody's hurting our forests and it's gone on far too long. And we won't be silent anymore. Somebody's hurting our communities and it's gone on far too long. It's gone on far too long. It's gone on far too long. Somebody's hurting our earth, and it's gone on far too long. It's gone on far too long. It's gone on far too long. Somebody's hurting our